I apologize for that stream. Sorry, got a lot of stuff going on. I don't ever want to just leave like that, but I'm back. Uh, I have not played Living Weapons. Okay, so we have... These are all the DLCs that are still coming. Hero... I have... My first game like this was just straight up XCOM, so... Tutorial. Uh, I wish I knew more about how the tutorial was going to do it, because... If it's just like tool tips, that's fine. But I don't want to have to play a tutorial and then kind of get stuck that way. So you know what? We're not going to do a tutorial. We're just going to see what happens if I hit start game. Surely nothing can go wrong. I'm sure we'll be fine. You know. The Phoenix Project was founded on October 24th, 1945. The second war to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries. Even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN. Stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose, New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the disciples of Anu, a new, syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. That's a cool storyline. I, like I like that setup quite a bit. Okay. Oh, I should have did the tutorial. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm looking at here. Uh, real quick, make sure I wasn't like message while I was gone because. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, I'm very scared. Okay, so everything's paused. Let's zoom in. Search. Okay, my mana core. That's my crew on board the ship. Can I change your name? Is actually what I wonder about. Oh, you can change your name. Okay. Uh, let's see. You know, I kind of like... We can go all in. Oh, I'm ready. Ready, willing, and able. Ready. Receiving. I can make a difference. 
Still alive. Let's show them what we can do. I was born ready. I like that one. Primary color. Oh, baby. Oh, we're in here now. Now we're playing video games, guys. So I think we're going to be black, and then our secondary colors will... Actually, no. I want to look like Power Rangers. So we'll be... I didn't think we were going to have customization. Alright, hide helmet. Oh man, he looks so cool. Alright. And then I go... Havel. So what are these different classes we have here? I'm obviously some kind of heavy. We have just a handful of scouts, one sniper. Hmm. We can have his name be that. Oh, hide the helmet so you can customize real quick. That facial hair is not Mike, but let's see what else we can get here. Let's see if you get some 5 o'clock shadow going on. What hairstyle is that craziness? I guess we're going to go for some kind of full beard. Even though Mike's not really rocking a full beard, he can at times. <laughs> See what we got. That's close to his. Oh wow, fifth element, huh? That's awesome. I actually say this is actually pretty close to what he has. Receiving. Ready. I'm here. I'm here. Ready to roll. Can't wait. I'm prepared. Ready to roll. Can't wait. Alright, he's gonna be blue. We have different kind of blues, right? Let's see. Yeah, we do. Okay. We need that kind of blue. A lot of games where I have to make people today. I gotta do Flocks next. Alright. He's sniping. I already messed up with the caps. All right, Flox, let's see what you uh, we got here for you. That was actually not bad. Kind of hair we got. Hair just looks a little weird, like it's just super flat, you know. That is some crazy hair. What the hell? Hair looks a little strange, but uh, I'll make it work. Oh, you can't give girls facial hair? Fox gonna be pissed about that. 
She's not gonna be happy about that. I'm prepared. Ready. Ready to roll. Can't wait. My turn. What's the plan? I can make a difference. Still alive. I can make a difference. Yes. I'm here. What's the plan? I like that one for her. She's gonna rock the green. Everyone's gonna have the black alternate. Yo, look at that helmet. Wow. There we go. Box is rocking it. All right, who's next? All right, do uh. These characters are all probably gonna die in the first ten minutes, so this should be good. Okay. Oh, hide helmet. Let's make Sean. Hair. We gotta change the hair before we do the color. Doesn't look laggy? Okay. Dawn is not one for any kind of, uh... <laughs> That's actually not bad. That's a good looking Sean right there. Like, future Sean. Like, 20 years on him. Make him gruff. Alright. I'll take it. Ready, willing, and able. Let's show him what we can do. I was born ready. Uh, that's good. That's good for Sean. Give him the red. Yeah, there goes the red. Sean's not gonna want some weird. Oh, yeah, that might work. Let's make Blaze. Oh, this is gonna be easy. gonna be bald. No facial hair as well. This is basically Blaze when his metabolism runs out. Oh, that's actually not bad. That's kind of close. Be a more accurate, please. Ready, ready. I was born ready. Ready, willing, and able. Can't wait. Receiving. I can make a difference. Still alive. Ready. Ready to roll. Ready. First, Blaze is gonna go with that blue. I'm gonna give him that bright blue too. It's gonna be an obnoxious blue. At the crew, you got me, Mike, Flox. What do you think, Flox? Sean Blaze. All right. The helmet's on. Oh, we are definitely a Power Ranger squad right now. I am very. I guess I should research something. I should I should have done the tutorials, but I should have done. Okay. Bro, I don't know what I'm looking at here. So Okay, so we're all at the base. Oh, what? 
what am I even what am I even looking at right now oh man your boy is confused so I got a medical bay is there anything here that I don't have yet training facility do I have a training facility I do not have a training facility so that might be good why is the text off the screen though that's not good Yeah, they may have to rethink their UI design. Cause look at how it's going off the screen. I, that can't be good. Oh, Geoscape. I guess we're gonna explore this base and uh, see what happens. Disciples of Anu Haven of Uruk, a mutated worm infestation is causing serious problems. Alright. We got our first mission. Deploy the squad. Well, it's weird because I chose the right resolution. It's just the game, for some reason, is... Uh... I don't know why they, uh, they just, that seems like an over, an oversight. But still, I don't know how the game's gonna work yet, so let's find out. We look cool. Oh, no animation, I was hopping out. Okay, that's weird. Alright. So this is me. Alright, I'm going to... Advancing. Sean. What do you spot an enemy? Or is there an enemy spotted? Oh, there. Oh, you move up there. Overwatch. Overwatching. Alright, Fox. Since you're a scientist, I'm gonna move you next to the worm. Like sneak over here. Moving to position. Good luck, Fox. You're out in front. I follow these worms. How are we not shooting these worms? I thought we were in Overwatch. Like. How do we not, can we not shoot them? Uh, fireworm, okay. Did I somehow miss that worm? Oh my God. Identifying target. Threat eliminated. 
There you go, Flax. Okay. Oh, weird with the sniper. I have to like aim in first person. That's really bizarre. Oh, that's cool though. Um. All right, so we got a couple worms up here coming. Right there. And like, if I do. Oh, I gotta do Overwatch and then choose. Oh, that's why no one shot. And the game could have told me that. But I didn't do the tutorial, so this is all my fault. Oh man, I've been like really tired today. Like, like my eyes are just so heavy. there moving get mic up <sighs> get him flocks get him yep oh, Sean missed it's a lot of worms I don't like it My character sucks. He's not hitting nothing, man. Fuck, I'm staying out in the open. Let him come. Okay, Mike got a good shot. Right, go ahead, Kill Flox. Oh, you could try to aim at stuff. Oh, I wonder if you can break everything in the background and then take your shots that way. Moving to position. A quiet. There you go, Blaze. One less to worry about. Can I finally kill something? Oh my god, what is oh my guy? <laughs> he sucks ass. Jesus. I wonder if you can really break like all cover and like shoot right through it. Oh yeah, look at that. I can't break through that. Oh! Headshot. I got nothing because my character couldn't hit jack shit. Damn it. Normally, when we encounter a potential ally, we first send the Apostle to the Onceborn to check them out. But I'm going to break protocol to say thanks. Now listen. <laughs> 
I'll be honest with you. The Exalted is the only one who has any real answers. Tobias West may be clever and Sinedrian may sound great, but only the Exalted is dealing with the world as it actually is. She can lead us out of this mess. Give us lives worth living. If you want to work with us, you'll still have to deal with the hierarchy. Work your way up from the Apostle to the Onceborn, to the Keeper of the Threshold, all the way up to the Synod of Yearning and the Exalted herself. That's hard work. You'll have to earn the knowledge you gain. But trust me, it'll be worth it. And if the Synod gives you trouble, let me know. That's really cool and I can see like what they have. That's awesome. Well, let's do an autopsy in those worms. So, since Phlox leveled up, what's that mean? Like, I don't... Can she train? Oh, okay. Biochemists. All right. There's mounts? Oh man. Yeah, character right out your your character is number one. You get no SP unless you level. Okay. Get Mike some uh And then you get special abilities as well. Oh, okay. I got it. <sighs> okay, that's pretty cool. I like that system. So what can I do with like my ship here? Uh, scan an area. Research complete. Atmospheric. I think it's scanning like pretty far away. Head over here. Floor. Dreamers awaken. Alright, well, maybe I'll be better when I fight actual people. Oh, we have a stamina system. But we can't keep sending the same group out over and over again. Oh, fuck me. 
Okay. I wish you could see the guys hopping out, but you know, I get the smaller budget. That's fine. Alright. I have a go. Thank you. Guys, I just got my power up. Liquid cocaina. All right, we'll have Blaze and uh, Sean infiltrate the back. So what I want to know is, how do I like go up a level? Oh no, I didn't want him to... Oh shit. Moving. Let's roll. Here we go. Fuck. Take this. No. I got this. <sighs> Fuck. This is bad already. Let's go. God, you get to hit me back. Oh, I can choose. We hurt so much, man. Aiming. Like, we're about to get cornered, so I don't know if I just, like, back up. And force them to come to us. Running. The thing inside, I think, is a death trap. Yeah, like, Sean is, like, really hurt. Get the fuck out of here. Blaze is kind of stuck. Oh, he's gonna get shot. 
get some. <laughs> On my way. Come on, Flox, get some shots in. Oh, come on. That's not enough for you to... Oh, that's unfortunate, dude. So, Blaze is basically dead. There's like nothing he can do. He can get behind this tree, but is that even cover? It's not cover. What I'm gonna do is put myself there, and when they move out, try to take shots the best I can. Holding position. Here we go. Just a oh, bit nice. No, Sean. Ah. Get him, Sean! Yeah! No! Oh my god, Flox, this may be ending so quickly. Get him, Flox! Fuck him up! He's infected by a virus! Did the blaze just die? Oh my god. Terminated. Oh my god, I fucked her up. Engaging. Oh, my man's trying to hide from you. Preparing to fire. Fuck his gun up. Now you have no gun, bitch. Just need the right angle. Oh! <gasps> Your Blaze died! Oh my god, Blaze is gonna be pissed that he's the only one that got killed. I already know he is. I wonder if I can get over there and like heal him. I can do for Blaze. I'll keep my eyes open. Taking a quick break. Are they like running from me? See if I can make Sean run 
closer. And let's see if you can heal him, because he is about to die as well. Alright, Flox, let's see if we can... No, don't use it on yourself. No, heal Sean. No. Oh, no, now Sean might be dead too. There is stuff on the ground. can't all live forever, I guess. Take a quick break. Is she really trying to escape, actually? <gasps> no, Sean! <laughs> Sean's dead, too! Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm a coward, though, if I auto-load if I auto -load it. Alright, Flox, you're gonna have to catch this guy and shoot him because he keeps trying to run from us. It's really annoying. Moving! Let's roll! We gotta pick up his stuff. Can't let it sit in the ground. two people in this mission and we still managed to lose blaze and sean <laughs> oh man it only took me two missions to lose members of the crew already what a heartbreak i'm gonna have to recruit 2.0 versions of project would my fallen allies day, even after symes disappeared it seems to be the defining pattern of your history fall, then rise again. I wonder if this points to an underlying weakness. That is why I did not intervene. We could have stopped those soldiers ourselves. Okay, let's save this. Oh man, I'm so sad. That's, you know, that's unfortunate. 